Shalom, salve, meraba. This is Ken from TheRack.co. In this video, we'll be reviewing one of the most well-known specialty bars produced by one of the most respected strength training manufacturers in the world, Eleiko. Expect a discussion on the Eleiko bar's specs, why we think it's one of the best curl bar choices in the market, some thoughts on how it could be improved, and a few details of comparison with another well-known curl bar we've had the chance to use throughout the years. TheRack.co is a strength stuff depot and we specialize in f***ing awesome strength training equipment whether for home gyms or commercial facilities. If you're interested to be updated with the new stuff on stock, the promos and deals on offer, tutorials, and more videos of unboxing, reviews, and first impressions, please like this video, subscribe, then turn on that notification on this youtube.com slash direct.co.ph channel. And you may also connect with us through Facebook and Instagram at direct.co.ph where these contents will also be made available. Or join our newsletter at bit.ly slash dash newsletter to get updates straight to your email. Now let's begin the review of the Eleiko Curl Bar with a great to know detail concerning its technical specifications. So unlike Olympic bars, where so much community interest has been gained with international organizing bodies like the International Weightlifting Federation or IWF and the International Powerlifting Federation or IPF, setting standards for its major technical specifications, i.e. the weight, the length, the neural marks, the shaft, the diameter, etc. No similar act of standardization has yet been set for curl bars. Although there are a good amount of powerlifting meets already including strict curl competitions. So who knows, maybe in a few more years, standards will be set for curl bars. But at the moment, again, there is none. Hence, if you think that all curl bars are the same, it's actually far from it as each manufacturer may greatly differ in their own creation's features. From the weight, length, knurling, shaft diameter, bar bends, to sleeve mechanism and design. So for the Eleiko Curl Bar, the first specification to mention is the weight, and it's at 12 kilograms or 26.4 pounds. In how a curl bar weighs, the main thing to consider for what's best for you is the balance between number one, the minimum amount of weight you'll be able to carry, which is technically the weight of the bar itself, without weights. And two, the good weight feel. Personally, I love using curl bars for my wrist work, as the bends are ergonomically perfect on the hands for both flexions and extensions. But since wrists are small joints and are usually one of the weakest, it would be difficult to start off doing the movements with heavier loads. So for me, 12 kilograms is just right. Then again, it can be different for other people. Some may experience 12 kilograms as too much of a starting point, even when doing the main exercises of which this specialty bar was made for. And those are the bicep curls and the tricep extensions. So best consider this factor for all potential users of your curl bar. In terms of good weight feel, this is pretty subjective. But what we're sure of is that when lifting weights, confidence building equipment is a big deal. No one ever wants to handle something that feels flimsy, especially during weighted overhead movements. For us, this Eleiko Curl Bar is well balanced for accessibility of use, together with the confidence building general heft on the hands. The bar is also with a 28mm diameter shaft, similar to Eleiko's multi-purpose and weightlifting bars. For most well-known American counterparts like the Rogue Curl Bar, shaft diameter is at 28.5 millimeters. While this detail would matter more with Olympic bars as its shaft diameter would greatly affect its overall balance, especially when being used for dynamic quick lifts, 
we feel like it doesn't with the curl bar. Unless, of course, someone throws around bicep curls and tricep extensions as they would cleans and snatches. In the end, it'll probably come down to a preference whether a 28 millimeter shaft diameter would suffice. And I think for most, it wouldn't really matter. The Aleco curl bar is with a length of 131.6 centimeters or about 52 inches. Thus, difficult to load and unload plates on and off when racked on a bar. Though there are recent and ingenious versions of curl bars that make it possible to rack it and also load and unload plates. And what they call rackable curl bars. These are best for home gyms or commercial facilities that cannot accommodate for a separate preacher curl bench. Again, remember that rackable curl bars are obviously much longer making the bare bar heavier and thus make it more inaccessible for beginners and movements needing lesser weight. It would be nice, however, if Eleco would produce its own rackable curl bar version or at least a rack attachment to accommodate curl bars on a rack. So for spaces without a preacher curl bench, the best way I personally figure to load and unload plates on the Eleco curl bar without having to do it on the floor is to do it on a bench. After which, you may start using from the bench itself or even on your rack for use with the sleeves on the J-cups. So here are a few reasons why we think the Eleco curl bar is one of the best curl bar choices in the market. Reason number one, it's in a classic old school look finished in chrome. More than any bar look and feel, I love patina. But second to that, the shiny metallic look. So if it's bare steel, stainless, or in chrome, I'm in. When I see chrome, I think about a bespoke dark gray suit done by a great tailor. A dark gray suit is probably one of the most versatile get-ups for a man that needs to look impeccable a good amount of the time. From important business meetings to personal milestone events. A well-fitting dark gray suit will be your best wear from one generation of events to the next. Just like the Eleco curl bar, it'll fast become a classic staple in your strength training collection. Now there may be questions on how relevant chrome finish still is, considering the vast numbers of ways to protect bars from corrosion. While there seems to be more modern ways of doing so that provides better resistance, when chrome is done right, it can still provide superb protection. To give some idea of Eleco's chrome finish quality, it can be seen with a video from Zilfit TV of Malaysia showing 2020 second-hand bought bars that were manufactured from 2016 still looking great. At least with the video, we know that if maintained well, you can enjoy great condition Eleco bars even in tropical climates. We'll provide a link to the video down at the description. Another notable feature of Chrome is that it's one of the thinnest finishes that can be applied on steel. Thus, the intended hand feel from the bar's knurling is greatly preserved. And so, reason number two why the Eleco curl bar is one of the best curl bar choices in the market is its impeccable knurling. Continuing with the previous statement on preserved knurlings, the Eleco curl bar's knurlings is classified as 1.2 in Eleco lingo. Some may think that Eleco's knurling classification system is another one of those obnoxious marketing ploys, but it's actually pretty straightforward. 1.2 simply means that the measurement from the knurl's peak to the bottom of its depth is at 1.2 millimeters, which is a similar classification level to Eleco's competition or training weightlifting bars and the Eleco hybrid bars. The mildest Eleco knurling is at 1.0, reserved for their multi-purpose Eleco XF bars and the most aggressive at 1.5 for their famed powerlifting bars. As a means to show how well and precisely the knurlings are done, a friend of ours showed us a magic trick that can be done with Eleco snurls. So let me show you what that means by grabbing a lint-free cloth that we use to clean our bars on the Eleco curl bar. We've tried this out with the other premium bars we've had the opportunity of using and it's only the Eleco bars that can do this. What does this mean? 
it means that the peaks are just so fine, thus optimal tack is experienced from the bar to your hands. And with curl bars rarely being used for fast movements, the 1.2 gives just the right amount of bite without getting annoyingly painful. Moving on to reason number three why the Eleco curl bar is one of the best curl bar choices in the market is its precision constructed needle bearing sleeves. On this bar's sleeves, the flange width is at 20 millimeters and the loadable sleeve length is at 23 centimeters or about 9 inches. It can load about 3 25 kilo sport training plates per sleeve, thus a max of around 162 kilos or 356.4 pounds when using similar plates. I'm not sure though that you need this much weight on this bar. The specs aside, the curves, the lines, the spotless fit makes you simply want to keep on staring at it. Then on the inside is what makes this Eleco curl bar truly unique from the rest and that Eleco decided to provide the same spin quality on this curl bar as with their more famous weightlifting bars. And these are Eleco needle bearings, providing absolutely buttery spin. At first use, it'll feel quite weird. I personally have gotten used to curl bars with sleeves fully fused together on the shaft or with just bushings. As you spend more repetitions, sets, and sessions on this, you'll just realize that you've just gotten spoiled and that you wouldn't want to work with anything less. Doing heavy bicep curls and tricep extensions with the plates with absolutely very minimal resistance on the rotations really helps give the impression that you're simply working against just gravity from the ground and very little inertia throwing you off. It's really a great user experience to feel that the bar is working around you uh, rather than you around it. The experience is further enhanced by the fact that there is very little to no movement between the shaft and the sleeves, as I will demonstrate here. A construction quality that's often only reserved to a manufacturer's top-of-the-line Olympic bar. Such a build will almost always provide a feeling of one-weightedness that you're resisting simply against one whole thing as opposed to individual components flimsily attached to one another. This right here is one weight and this is why this is truly an Eleco bar. The fourth and last reason why the Eleco curl bar is one of the best curl bar choices in the market is because it's an Eleco. Before I sound like a total Eleco fanboy, which I am, hear me out. We know Eleco is not as accessible as other offerings in the market, especially when compared to manufacturers that focus more on cheap cloning. After having experienced using Eleco for some months, we got it. At this point, there's absolutely no need for Eleco to apologize for its premium pricing. With the construction quality details that's already been mentioned, Eleco stands by its manufacturing quality as these Eleco curl bars come with a 12-year warranty. Warranties aside, rarely do you hear of an Eleco bar breaking apart even after decades worth of use. Also, when in the future you decide you want to get rid of your Eleco curl bar already, there'll definitely be a second-hand market eager to take the bar off your hands at a relatively good price. It's like purchasing an Apple for a smartphone. There's a reason why Eleco bars are known to be the dream bars of many lifters. And we think it's because of the company's consistent spirit to create the best in class in each of their offerings. An iteration at a time since they started making their first lifting bars in 1957. Eleco is just one of those brands that make strength training equipment that you'll always look forward to using in your home gym or at your local lifting facility. And as you finish your session, also always seem to leave a smile on your face. So, do you think curl bars are essential to a strength training setup? Why or why not? Do you find the Eleco curl bar interesting and would you like to experience it on your next training session? 
We want to hear what you think, so please share your thoughts and comment below. TheRack.co is a strength stuff depot and we specialize in f***ing awesome strength training equipment, whether for home gyms or commercial facilities. If you're interested to be updated with the new stuff on stock, the promos and deals on offer, tutorials, and more videos of unboxing, reviews, and first impressions, please like this video, subscribe, then turn on that notification on this youtube.com slash theract.co.ph channel. You may also connect with us through Facebook and Instagram at theract.co.ph, wherein these contents will also be made available. Or you may also join our newsletter at bit.ly slash theract.co.ph-newsletter to get updates straight to your email. Again, this is Ken from theract.co and thank you for watching this video. This is the Eleko Curl Bar, an addition that you should definitely consider if you simply want the cream of the crop.